Hey, this is Niladri once again, and today we'll try to understand that how we can restrict log hours at certain state of any user story or subtask or any items that you have in your board. Mostly, uh, you might have observed that people are logging hours even the story is done, and uh, few times we want to restrict them for few practices they have asked for when we do agile transformation for companies in few areas that kind of request came up so let's try to understand how we can do that that's very simple we need to have a little bit of administrative knowledge and we will show you how so as of now if this is one of the story as you can see this is one board and the teams have their board uh, or configured their uh, scrum board and if I click on that, I will be able to log hours by clicking on this log time and it will show me their log hours. So as of now, the screen that you are looking at may not be matched with your Jira screen because this is a tempo login screen. But if you want to go with uh, another uh, time tracking systems for your Jira, you may see a different screen or, or the default uh, screen for time tracking. I'll cancel it now. I'm not logging any hours and let's assume that I'm moving it from uh, design to development and the teams are actually working on that. This can apply for your subtask or uh, your story wherever you are working on. <clears throat> Oops. Then I'll be putting into testing. Then what I'll be doing is this is now at review still if i wants to log hour i can log hour as well and if you are using your default time tracking mechanism you will be able to log hours over here as well you can uh, do a board configurations over here and estimations you can bring up the remaining time estimate if you wants to do that you will be able to see once you are looking into any of the story uh, your time tracking will be enabled in your burn down chart that you can use but over here this is uh, time spent what exactly that amount of time spent will be coming up when you log time from here now even if i put it into done state what will happen i can still click on this and log time but this is what i want to restrict so let's see how we can do that first we need to identify this particular user story this is a type of user story and part of this project which workflow it is going through so i'll be coming to the project settings under project settings i'll be looking for workflows and as of now i can see the story is part of this safe user story flow I'll click on edit directly. So make sure when you are editing it, you are creating a copy of that workflow. Don't edit the workflow directly from the project settings. Why? Because if the same workflow is used by other teams, they will also be get impacted. Now what I will be doing, the important thing is this done state. Because once the story reads to done state, I want to restrict them not to add any log time. So I'll click on that. Over here, you can see there is something called properties. So if I click on these properties, it will ask add a property value and a property key. So I already have saved that property values and keys that you can use. This is what you will be adding jira.permission.work denied and the value I'll be adding it as true. I'll add it. And after that, I will go back and publish this draft. I don't want to save any backup. And to verify, I'll quickly click on that whether that property was saved or not. So if I click on that and click on properties, I already see this is already saved. Okay, great. So let's go back to my project and see how exactly that's appearing now. If I come into over here and try to click on this, I want to log work from here. But if I want to click something from here, I'll not be able to see that log work is appearing. So this log work appears only when it is not done. At the same time, if you want to restrict it, for example, I can see this time tracking option is enabled. Now, if I click on the story, which is in done state, your time tracking option is not coming up. We will try to do that, repeat it once again for a story which is in to do, we want to restrict them that they uh, should not be able to log work. Now, if I wants to 
add some log work i can do it still it is in to do and this is what i want to restrict so what i will be doing again i will go back to my uh, workflow how i can go that i'll click on the project settings go into workflows workflows come yeah over here this is the story i'll click on this edit now this time i will be adding it for to do if it is in to do i should not be able to log work so i'll click on properties add the property value as jira dot permission dot work denied and i will add a property value as true add this is now added what my next action is i need to publish this draft all right so this is now done i'll quickly go back to my board where is my board okay i'll come here and i'll just click on refresh i think it's already refreshed so if i click on any story that is in to do this time tracking is not coming up over here if i click over here the log time log work is also not coming up but if the story if i this story 3 if i move it to analysis and after that i wants to click on that i can see the time tracking is coming up and the log work is also coming up so this is how you can restrict your logging work for jira when uh, you wants to keep that restricted for to do or done state this is very well worked with uh, your default time tracking system if you are using some other time tracking system for example tempo or aio reports in that case we may need to use a different property that's all what we have for uh, this video i'll come up with uh, another video with another tricks in jira and some other areas stay tuned till that time have a wonderful day